Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm her Aries, my name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today, <clears throat> we're gonna be taking a look at the current energy that you are in, what's coming towards you, why it's coming towards you, and what is hidden, okay? I'm gonna start with the Chakra Oracle deck. I think that's what it's called here. But before we get started, I have a few announcements. One, today is the last day to enter the giveaway for January. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to enter, and it's one entry per video, okay? All the details for this giveaway are in the description box. Two, I forgot to mention about the mini readings that I started last weekend. They turned out great. I enjoyed it. Um... I enjoyed everybody who participated and, you know, got on live with me just to say hi. Although I am thinking about maybe to make it a little bit more personal, um, doing it as a, <clears throat> where whoever paid for, since it is a prepaid reading, um, just doing it unlisted. So only the people who paid will have a link to it um, and it'll be a private live. Um, let me know if you think about that. And um, but to enter the give not the giveaway to the mini readings, I will open them up Thursday through Saturday. I said Friday before, but I'll open it up Thursday through Saturday and give you a chance to um first you have to submit a payment. Okay. All these dis instructions will be in the first comment pinned on this video, but you need to submit a payment, then send me a receipt of the payment, however you choose to pay, Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, or Zelle, um, and then send me your questions with that receipt of payment. And that email also let me know if you would like your name to be anonymous. When you send me all that information, I will give you a number. Okay, so if you would like to be anonymous, I will only use your number during the live. Okay, um, let me see if I forgot anything with that. <clears throat> no, that's, I think that's it. Um, and then just make sure when you do send me your question, you can send details, but please don't let it make it be longer than a, par a paragraph or two. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey, come here, Puggy. Pugsley, sorry, it's called time in there. Pugsley, come here. Come here. Leave it. Leave those kids alone. Come here. Come here. Not you, Bruno. Come here, Puggy. Okay. Please leave those kids alone. Okay. All right. Calm down. Anyway, all right, so let's see what the energy is surrounding Aries currently. Uh-oh. <clears throat> so we have destiny here at the bottom of the deck. We have victim. I'm going to lock you up. You better stop. And we have joy. Thank you. <laughs> we have balance. And we have a enlightenment, enlightenment, so joy, victim. Now, these could be your energies, Aries. This could be um, energies, just uh, energy, energy. So it could be around you. It could be somebody else. And we have expansion, miracle at the bottom of the deck. I love that. So let's see here. What a Get away from that, sir. Come on. Now I have to have eyes in the back of my head for real. All right, let's see here. What is the energy surrounding Aries? We have service. I feel good when I can help others. Beautiful. You have past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Um, this is just channeled, but I feel like someone could be constantly reliving their past. It's like they're staying stuck in the past or past situations are repeating. Um, there's something here about telling the same story. We have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love and denial. 
I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, envy is at the bottom of the deck. So let me pull one of these. I'll read it at the end. Or right, we'll see how, what comes out. Maybe I need to read it now. Let me take a look here for Aries. Hmm, yeah, wounded healer in truth. I'm telling you, I know this wounded healer. This wounded healer energy is someone here who is always there for others, always helping others, but you know, needing to take time for yourself to heal yourself. Um, that's what we got the victim card here. Um, okay, and needing to really take time to focus on you, what you want, and to heal yourself because there's there's enlightenment, joy, and expansion on the table here, but there needs to be balance first. There needs to be balance first. I feel good when I help others. I can relate. You know what I'm saying? I'm always, but you do have to help yourself, right? Before you can extend that to other people. Now, there's something here about this denial. Tell me, give me another card here. cosmic power it's almost like someone doesn't you're not stepping into your power maybe you don't feel or think that you're as powerful as you are and grief yeah. at the bottom of the deck <clears throat> that card just keeps sticking out to me I acknowledge my fear and I replace it with the inside of awareness. All right, so let's take a look here. What is the current energy that the Aries Collective is in? If whoever this reading is for, whoever resonates with this reading, what is the energy that they are currently in? Page of Cups, yeah, very sweet energy. There's a message here, receiving some sort of message. You know what I'm getting here? You are the messenger. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck in the moon. You are the messenger. I feel like you're in this energy of, you know, just, I don't want to say sweetness or being kind or, I don't know, it's just like you're extending help to others, but... There needs to be a balance with inside of yourself because you could possibly burn out or I don't know, because I'm getting like the three of swords here in the moon. It's almost like somebody's trying to hide their situation. They're trying to hide, you know, I don't know, the hurt, the pain that they feel that they're going through. Okay. What's coming towards this Aries? Yeah, the denial. Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah, it is the denial from the past. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. This is putting me in an energy. I don't know. I guess I'm picking up on the energy, but it just feels like someone is just trying to keep going, right? Save face, put on a smile, still help other people. But there's healing that needs to be done with inside of yourself and then once you heal yourself you're going to be so powerful so powerful that's why we have balance and victim here it's not even a victim mentality i think it's just somebody here who is you know there's one thing of you know being in denial that something happened to you I mean, there's one thing here of like being in a victim mentality, right? Where some people are just, woe is me. But whoever I'm speaking to, it's like, you're not taking the time to say something traumatic or something very difficult happened to me. And I need to honor that. Instead, you're trying to push it to the side. And you're one of those people who want to help other people with their stuff. But really, you do have something that has happened to you that is very traumatic that you need to take a look at. Like, that's why we have denial and past, but you're in service to other people. It's time for you to express yourself. You let me tell you something. By you expressing yourself, you're going to, or getting this out, whatever needs to get out, you're going to put yourself back into balance. And then 
it's almost like what you can do is limitless with enlightenment, joy, expansion, and miracle here. You have co cosmic power here, Maui Lisa, Maui Lisa, like this can be because look here, what's coming towards you is the queen of pentacles energy. This could be money. This could be abundance, but the queen of pentacles is a nurturer. This is someone here. The queen of pentacles is someone here who could really be in service to others, really give and not be depleted. Okay. She has a lot to give. Why? Because she takes care of herself first. All right. Right here. Yeah, this is nice and this is sweet, but are you giving from an empty cup or are you giving, you know what I'm saying? Or how, how much do you really have to give when you're not all the way tuned in and tapped into your own emotions? Okay. Yeah. All right. Why is this Queen of Pentacles energy coming towards? Wow. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. That's why it's coming towards you. You really, whoever I'm speaking to, you really deserve it all. It's not a bad thing that you like to help people. It's not a bad thing that you enjoy being in service to other people. It's not a bad thing that you try to put smile on people's faces. And that is the very reason why you're going to be getting blessed with this type of energy, this Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles energy. But Spirit is saying, first take care of yourself. First take care of yourself, okay? Take a look here. What's hidden? Mm -hmm. The strength here. The strength is hidden. I'm feeling that you have power that you haven't even tapped into yet. The justice, the queen of swords here, five of cups and the two of swords. You have power that you haven't even tapped into yet. It's almost like you're too busy denying what happened to you or denying that your situation needs help or something here. But the with the justice card at the bottom of the deck, it's like the divine is just waiting to bless you once you make yourself a priority. Is what I'm getting. Oh, there's a few cards here. The Devil, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Death card. I'm hearing like you're graduating, you're leveling up. So let's clarify here, see what's going on. Look at that three of swords at the bottom of that deck too. And the devil. <clears throat> you know, I, I'm also getting that. That's the reason why you, fi you keep finding yourself in situations where you are the victim. Honestly, it's because it's not because bad things keep happening to you. It's because you're not taking the time to put yourself first. If you're not putting yourself first, don't expect the people around you to put yourself, put you first. Or situations or life in general. Because I'm hearing someone saying, I'm always getting the short end of the stick. Things are always happening to me. You know, I always have to be strong. So why not be strong for other people? It's just about, and I saw that at the underneath, impatient, self-worth, service, service again. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is going to unlock miracles for you by doing this. And then we have the world card. Yeah. And the nine of cups, king of cups. Tell us about the page of cups here. Five of swords. Five of Swords. This is that energy of trying to win at all costs, but I'm seeing here with the Page of Cups and the Five of Swords, it's really trying to stay on top. It's really trying to stay on top. And it's it's in a very struggle type of way. It's like being very mentally conflicted, but still telling everybody everything is okay. Um, yeah, of course I can lend a helping hand. Or yeah, do you need to talk? Like, you know, when you're really being defeated on the inside ten of pentacles tell me more about this page of cups or again you know what i'm saying again what i'm getting is that you could have been hurt by someone the victim here could have been in a narcissistic yeah five of cups relationship or this could have been something from your past the justice card The justice card talks about balance, truth, fairness, and it's time. 
Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. It's time for something to change here for you. Okay. It's time for you to stop looking at the past. Whatever happened to you, whatever manipulation that you went through, it's time for you to turn away from that because it's like balance is trying to be restored. But I don't think it's like almost someone's trying to pretend like nothing is wrong with them or nothing happened. Six of Swords energy. It's time for you to move to calmer waters. And have relationships that are reciprocated with the two of cups, whether it's love, friendships, whatever. All right. Tell me about the queen of pentacles. The eight of swords. You don't believe that you deserve this. That's what's the only reason that's keeping you stuck in the past. Maybe even stuck in lack. Um, because the queen of pentacles is very abundant as well. The nine of cups here. You don't believe that you deserve this wish fulfillment coming towards you. And that's the first part is that, you know, because of whatever happened to you in the past, this trauma, there's a lot of um, self-sabotaging energy here, limiting beliefs that you that are keeping you stuck and away from this wish fulfillment. Tell me about the, tell me about the ten of pentacles. The world's card. You are destined for greatness and success and abundance and wealth and, you know, just things here that are going to put you in the places and in the rooms that you've dreamed about. Really, literally, the Ten of Pentacles in the world card is having the world in the palm of your hand at your oyster here. And it's all about learning how to, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, acknowledging your past, right? Acknowledging what happened to you, acknowledging the hurt, the pain, the traumas that you've been through, not identifying them as, not identifying them as, yes, I'm a victim or da, 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 but using that, you know, there is, it's just a balance. It's like, you know, there's some people who will always be as, woe is me, you know, I'm always hurt. I'm always a victim. I'm always this, but then there's a difference between this happened to me, you know, and this is going to make me stronger and I'm going to help somebody else with what happened to me. And I'm not going to be a victim, but this is going to be what happened to me is I'm going to use this for whatever, you know, my platform to heal. I think there needs to be some acknowledgement of that. Okay. Three of wands and the judgment here. Um, and, and, you know, it, I heard resentment, you know, but the denial I saw that word resentment, I thought. I don't know. But there's a need. What you have waiting for you is so great. And it's divinely orchestrated here with the judgment and the three of wands. That's clarifying the world card. That's all coming in because of this queen of pentacles. So that means that once you start nurturing yourself, looking after yourself, putting yourself first, you're going to get yourself unstuck. And the things that you desire are going to come in. Tell me about the strength card here and outcome. Three of pentacles. What's hidden? What's hidden is that you have a very strong support system that you may not even be using. That's what's hidden. You have a very strong support system. So this could be in the 5D, right? Your spiritual team. And you don't even know it, but they're very real here. With three of pentacles. Page of Wands could be sending you messages or trying to send you messages here, but with the Enlightenment card and expansion, I don't know. It feels like you're trying. They're trying to help you. Tell me more. Nine of Wands. That's that wounded warrior energy. You got wounded healer. Nine of Swords. Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So, this feels like robbing yourself of your own happiness. It really does, Aries, because of... It's like almost... You're not looking at what happened to you, but you're also not releasing it with the Nine of Wands. Not looking at it is not releasing it, right? Sometimes we have to look at things that happen to us in order to free ourselves from them. You have a lot on the line here, you know? So I know I'm not speaking to everybody, but there's someone here who kind of needs to do some self-reflection, self-examination. There may be things that have happened that were very difficult to you, but you can't nurse those wounds just by 
being there for others, you know, if you have not taken care of yourself. Okay. Because there's something here that's about somebody, when it's time to talk about you, you get maybe really defensive, protective, because it could have been very traumatic. We got grief at the bottom of the deck and the wounded healer. So let me read that and I'm going to close the reading up. And I opened right to it. Okay. It says, heal thyself. Everyone gets you best except you. You are a healer among your tribe. Stop putting your needs last. When did you decide to become a martyr? Take a breath. Wounded healers hold sadness, rage, and fears of brokenness. Being a warrior wasn't a choice for our beloved foremothers. They did the best they could, but being a goddess warrior for us is knowing that we have the choice not to fight all the time. Deep dive questions. What are your swords, the weapons you use to fight? And what are your shields, the ways you defend yourself? Dare to lay the burdens down along with your swords and shields. Okay, the goddess declaration is, it is safe to put myself first. That is beautiful. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. Take care.